G'day folks, it's Cortezarino, and today I'm going to show you how to build this Japanese Shinto Shrine. And I think this would be a great addition to any Japanese village or maybe you've built a castle and you want to put the shrine in the gardens around the castle. It's a super cool design, it's really big but it is simple to build. And the two rooms on the sides don't have anything in them, but there is a full interior in this middle one. We've just got a little sort of praying area in there. Very, very easy to build. And if you're looking at all these copper blocks thinking, well, I don't have, <laughs> I don't have any copper. Never fear, you can substitute warped wood for the copper blocks and this might even be a good choice for you if you want to spawn proof the roof because then you can use all your warped buttons and pressure plates so you don't get any beasties spawning up here. And this is how the build looks without shaders. And like always, you can find a materials list in the video description. So we're going to begin by marking out the area you're going to need to build this. But we'll do this in three steps. So maybe watch the first three steps before you start building, just so you know how much room you're going to need. So we're going to begin by building three rectangles. So the rectangle in the middle is 15 blocks by 19 blocks, and the two rectangles on the sides are 21 blocks by 13. Okay, once you've done that, pick which side is going to be the front of your building, Come over to this corner here and we're going to skip four blocks. So one, two, three, four. On the fifth block, we're going to come out four stone and we'll do the same thing right here. So skip the first four. On the fifth, we're going to come out four stone and then we're just going to run a line of stone connecting those. Now switch to polished andesite. Starting here, we're going to knock out ten blocks. So it's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we're going to place 10 polished andesite in there. And we'll do the same thing over here. So starting right there, we will knock out 10. So 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And we will place all of those in. And then we're going to turn sideways and we're just going to connect these. Once again, with a line of polished andesite. Now, looking from the front, we're going to skip five blocks. So one, two, three, four, five. On block number six, we're going to knock out five here and place in our polished andesite. Same thing from here. One, two, three, four, five. Then we're going to knock out five right here. Run them along and then just connect them on the end. Okay, come around to the side here and counting these andesite blocks, we're going to go one, two, three. On the third one, we're just going to place a stone block in front and we're going to make an X shape here. So just like that. And then we're going to place in four stone bricks and we'll swing around to this side, do the exact same thing. So counting one, two, three andesite and that's where we start our X shape. And then we'll place in our stone bricks. So now I want you to come around to the front and looking at this line of stone right in the middle, we are going to place three stone blocks like that with stone bricks on the end. And then we'll do a random mixture of stone brick stairs and stone stairs in front. And then starting right here, you can place a stone stair two stone brick and on this side we'll do two stone brick and a stone and basically what we're going to do now is just using this random mixture of stone brick stairs and stone stairs we're just going to run a big loop all the way around our building so just go all the way around the outside until you finish right here and once you've run those stairs all the way around we've got four rectangles here we're just going to fill all of these up with a single layer of stone. So that's the little one done, but uh, yeah, do the other three as well. So when you're done, you'll be looking like this, and that is all the space you'll need for this build. Okay, come along to the front, and right here we're going to place two andesite walls with lanterns on top. And then I want you to dig out the grass in this rectangle. We'll start with cobblestone. We're just going to place a random mixture of cobble 
and then fill in the other blocks with gravel. Now inside of this other rectangle here, just knock out all this grass and replace it all with tuff. Okay, come along to these five center stairs here and just behind them, we're gonna place five more. So just mix up your stone brick stairs and stone stairs. Right behind these, I'm gonna go four stone brick blocks with a stone in the middle. And just beside those on each side, I'll put uh, three stone brick stairs there. Over here, I'm gonna mix in a stone stair. Okay, just for a bit of speed, when I place these blocks, I'm just gonna place stone bricks. But when you do it, make sure you mix in some stone and you can even throw in the occasional cracked stone brick if you want to. So what we're going to do is come along to the stair on the end here. Just behind that we're going to put three blocks, then a sea lantern with light grey carpet on top, and then we're going to come in this direction until we reach that corner. And we'll do the same thing over here. One, two, three behind the stair, sea lantern, light grey carpet, and four blocks in that direction. And then we'll also put a line of blocks just behind these stairs at the front. Now come along to the blocks on the corners here. What we're going to do is run these all the way down till we connect to that corner. You can turn here, run these along. We'll get to another corner in a moment. There we go. Turn again and we'll just run that all the way along. So that's how you should look when you're done. Except yours, of course we'll have your stone mixed in. And the next step is pretty simple. Come inside this box we've made and just fill in the entire thing with stone. Okay, looking at this top platform, we're gonna come around to the side and diagonally in from this corner, we're going to place a stripped spruce log, skip three blocks and place another and keep going till we get to the other corner. And then we're just going to place three spruce slabs in between each of these. And once you've done that, come along to the opposite side and do the exact same thing. Okay, come around to the back of your build and we're going to place four spruce slabs, then a stripped spruce log, and we'll do the same from this side. Four slabs, a log, and then five slabs in the middle. Come to the front and we're going to begin the same way. So we'll do one, two, three, four slabs, then a log. Same here, one, two, three, four, and a log. Now what we're going to do is just diagonally from this log, we're going to place five spruce planks, then another five in front, and then five spruce stairs in front of that. Then next to our spruce stairs, we're going to place a stripped spruce log, then come along here, counting from this log, we're going to skip three, place a log, skip three, and place a log, and we'll do the same thing here. One, two, three, log, one, two, three, and a log. And that's how you should be looking. So now inside of this area here, we're just going to fill all of this up with a single layer of stone brick slabs. So that's how you should be looking when you're done. So now I want you to draw your attention to all these big areas of stone that you can see in here. I just want you to run around with your stone bricks and just randomly place in some of these just for a bit of extra detail. Okay, now we're going to start building the foundations for the two buildings on the sides. And these are exactly the same, so I'll build one but you build both at the same time. So looking from the front, we're going to come along to this log here, and then we're going to place another one just in line with it, leaving a two block gap, and then grab spruce slabs. We're going to go one, two, three, then a log, then two slabs, a log, five slabs, so five, another log, then two, a log and then a single slab. So that's one, two, five, two, and three. Now come along to the back, and this is going to be different, but it'll start the same way. So just in line with that log, we're going to leave a two block gap. This one's going to begin with a single, and then all the rest are three. So one, two, three slabs, then a log, and just keep running these along until we reach the end. 
And then you can come along to the sides here, and this is pretty easy. We're just doing three slabs and then our stripped spruce log until we connect. And you can do the exact same thing up this end. Okay, make sure you're at the front of your building here. And we're going to look at these stripped spruce logs just behind all four of them. We're going to skip a block and place another log. So they'll be directly in line with the logs in front. And then you can come around to the back of the building and we're going to place four in the exact same spot. So skip a block and place your log. Just make sure you're lining them up with the ones in front. Now the two logs in the middle here, what we're going to do is place spruce trapdoors against those and spruce trapdoors against those. Now underneath the trapdoors, I'm going to knock out that block and place a sea lantern. So this will light up our building and you don't have to use sea lanterns there. You can use any light block that you want. Now I'll grab some spruce planks and starting diagonally in from this log, we're going to place a plank there. In this corner, diagonally in, we'll place another plank. Come over here, diagonally in and diagonally in. And then we're just going to connect these in a big rectangle. And just in case you had trouble following that, here's the aerial view so you can double check that you've got yours correct. Now all we're going to do is just inside of this spruce plank rectangle, we're going to fill all of this up with a single layer of spruce planks. So just go ahead, fill all of that in. So now we've got the larger rectangle on the outside. For this one, we're going to fill this up with spruce slabs instead of planks. And once you've done that, I want you to come along to this little gap in here. And we're just going to need a little bit of light. So randomly just place in a few sea lanterns with some light grey carpet. And then what you can do is grab your stone bricks and like we did on this layer above, just run around with your bricks, mixing them in like so. And to make sure to do the exact same thing on this side, so you should have your foundations all done. So now we're going to build these lanterns out the front. So I've already built one on this side. I'll show you how to build the other one over here. So we're going to begin right in the middle here. We're going to go one, two, three, stone, and then stone stairs. We're going to place four of them like so, then switch to stone brick stairs and we'll place those in the corners. Now up here, we're going to stay with our stone brick stairs, placing four upside down and we'll place a shroom light in the middle. Now on the two sides, we're going to place andesite walls, but on the front and the back, we're going to place an oak trapdoor. Now you can grab your stone block, we'll place it on top. And then with stone brick stairs right way up this time, we're going to run these all the way around. In the corners, we're going to place stone brick slabs and we'll finish with a stone brick slab on top. Okay, now we're going to build the two side buildings and we're going to build the entire thing. I'll just build one, but you build the other one at the same time. So we're going to start over here. So looking at these logs in the middle, so not the ones on the outside, but the ones in the center here, there's eight of them in total. What we're going to do is place four strip spruce on top and then a sea lantern. So just run around and do that for all eight of these. And once you've got all eight pillars in there, come along to the side here. From the pillar on the end, we're going to count three blocks. Then on the fourth, we're going to break that, place in a stripped spruce. And on top of that, we'll build a matching pillar and we'll do the exact same thing up this end. Skip the first three and then we'll build our pillar. Okay, so now you can grab some stripped spruce logs and all we're going to do is make a great big rectangle connecting all our sea lanterns. And once that's done, come along to the sides of the sea lanterns and we're just going to cover them up with spruce trapdoors. Don't forget to also cover up the insides. Okay, now I want you to come along to the side that is furthest away from our center building. And over here, we're going to put three barrels and another three. Then you can come around to the back of the building and we're just going to run barrels all the way along the back. 
And then on this side, we're just going to put barrels right here. So once you've done that, grab some stripped spruce and we're just going to run these along the tops of all our barrels. So you should be looking like this. And now what we're going to do is above our barrels in all these gaps, we're going to make some windows. So we're just going to fill up those areas with spruce fences. So everywhere where you've got barrels underneath, put in a window. Okay, now I want you to come inside your building and look at the wall where we've got one window and then the open doorway. Just in front of us there, we're going to be doing a staircase up to the next building. So on top of that log, we'll put strip spruce and another there. This is one with bark on all sides. And then in between three spruce stairs, come to the opposite side, three stairs upside down. Another three on top, three upside down, and then a final three on top. Grab some spruce fences. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five and a lantern on top and the same thing on this side so one two three four five and a lantern now around the edges here you can see the ends of all these logs on each of these we're going to put a stripped spruce with the bark on top and then put a pressure plate on top of that a spruce pressure plate so run around and do this on each of these logs and once you've run them all the way around we're just going to connect them with spruce fences until you've done a full lap of your building. Now grab some stripped spruce logs and we're going to place one on top of every single sea lantern. And then you can grab some spruce slabs and we're just going to make a great big rectangle connecting all of these logs. And once you've done that, just on the outside of the building above each of our trapdoors here, we're going to place an upside down spruce stair. So in the corner logs, you're placing a stair on each side so just run them all the way around okay come along to the stairs in the corners and we're just going to place a temporary block and then a spruce plank right in the corner between those two stairs so go ahead do this in all four corners and then grab some stripped spruce logs and we're just going to, to connect these spruce planks okay so come along to any wall this is exactly the same on each wall Find the dead center and we're going to place a smooth quartz slab just like that. And then looking at the slab, we're going to place upside down smooth quartz stairs until we get to the edge here. And then right in the corner, just diagonally from that spruce, we're going to place a dark oak slab. So I'll do the same from this side, upside down stairs, slab in the corner. So that's one wall. It's the same on the short walls. Just find the dead center, put your slab in. And then run your upside down stairs till you get to the corner. So just continue doing this all the way around. And then staying with our dark oak slabs, we're going to place another one next to the slab. Then run it all the way down till we finish next to that slab. Now right in the corners, we're going to place a dark oak trapdoor just like that. But then we're just going to continue this pattern, connecting our dark oak slabs right in the corner, dark oak trapdoor. And just do this all the way around. Okay, come along to our two shorter walls and we're going to place a stone block on the spruce planks and then just make a line connecting them. And we'll do that on this shorter wall as well. Stone on top of the spruce planks and connect them. Now for the two longer walls, this is exactly the same. We're going to go one stone, two sea lanterns and a stone. We'll do the same from this side. Stone, two sea lanterns, stone. And five sea lanterns in the middle. So just do that again right here. Okay, come to the inside. Looking at our longer walls here, we're going to place a stone block on top of those stripped spruce pillars. And then we're just going to run stripped spruce all the way along, like so. Now above the trapdoors, we're going to place spruce fences, upside down spruce stairs above those. So turn around, do the same thing on the other longer wall. And once you've done that, turn to your shorter walls. On top of that log, we're going to place another one with three spruce fences on each side. And then right across the top, we're going to place stripped spruce logs running all the way along. Same thing up this end. Three fences each side and our stripped spruce going all the way across. 
And we're going to do two more of them above these upside down stairs. So just strip spruce along there and another one right here. Then grab some spruce trapdoors and we're just going to cover up the inside of all our sea lanterns. Okay, so come along to one of these shorter walls and what I do here, I want you to copy to the other side. So on top of our stone, we're going to place a spruce plank right in the middle with four stripped spruce logs on each side and then two stripped spruce coming out to the sides and sea lanterns on the ends of those. Now grab some spruce planks, we're going to go one, two and three. Right here we're going to place two spruce fences, then spruce trapdoors, one up there and one on each of our sea lanterns. Then grab some barrels and we're going to place one either side of that spruce plank. Same here, one on the side and one on top. So do that on the other side. So once you've built both of those, we're going to connect the sea lanterns we just placed with stripped spruce logs. So run it all the way down on that side and another one on this side. Then grab spruce trapdoors and just on the inside here we're going to cover up that log and we'll do the same over here all the way along. Now on these logs in the middle we're going to add one, two, three, four stripped spruce logs like so and then we're going to place three spruce fences on either side of those then grab some spruce slabs and we're just going to run a long line all the way across the top like so. And now it's time to start building our roof. So grab your oxidized copper slabs and at the same height as these dark oak slabs we're just going to run these all the way around. When you get to the corner you can put a temporary one, one on top and then break the one below so it's going to be flicking up a little bit. And just do that in each corner. And once you've done that, we're going to place a copper block this time on each of our dark oak trapdoors. So just hold shift while you're placing those. And then back to slabs, we're going to connect our four blocks in a big rectangle. And once you've done that, behind these, we're just going to add a line of copper blocks. If you need to save materials here, you could use slabs just by placing them up the top. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to use blocks. And in the corners on that line we just placed, we are going to place a copper slab in each corner. And then come along to one of the longer walls and on top of the stone we're going to place stairs all the way along. Finishing on the last stone block. And then just on the side of that stair we're going to place a copper slab just coming up on the diagonal from the last one. Same thing right here. And do the exact same thing on this side. And staying on our longer walls, what I want you to do is grab a stair, place it on that sea lantern, then hold shift and we're going to go two more. And then we'll place a block on top right there. And then just sticking out to the side, we're going to go stair, stair, stair. And a final one next to that block. And up this end, we'll do the same thing. So three stairs then a block and then sticking out toward the outside of the building we're going to place four stairs. And now all I want you to do is connect all of these with stairs. So we're just doing four lines completely made up of stairs. And of course once you've finished that side do the same on this side. Now come along to these stairs at the top we're going to place a cut copper slab in between them and we'll do the same up this end. And then in between those we're going to grab our cut copper again and just run that all the way along. Now grab some prismarine walls and you see these blocks up the top here. We're just going to place a prismarine wall on each of those. Now in between them we're going to place this copper block. It's a different one, it's not the cut copper. And then we're going to grab a prismarine brick stair, place him upside down there with another one of those copper blocks on top. And we'll do the same here. So copper block in between the walls, upside down, prismarine stair, and another copper block. And then you'll grab your prismarine walls again, and we're just going to run a line of these all the way along. Then grab warped stairs. We'll place one right there, and another up that end. And then we're just going to connect these with warped wood slabs. 
And that is the side building all done. Okay, now we're going to start on the center building. So first thing we're going to do is next to our staircase here, we're going to add two logs to the ends of those logs and then we'll keep going around to the other staircase like so. Now these log ends here, what we're going to do is place one log and then a sea lantern. So we'll do this all along the back wall and finish right here. Now looking at the back here, right in this center section, what I want you to do is look in this direction, place two spruce trap doors, look in the other direction, another two, then flick them all up and the two either side of that, we're going to look in this direction, flick those up and over here we're going to look in that direction and flick those up as well. Now over near the front door where the staircase is, we're not putting trap doors, but on the two sides here, we're going to do the same thing. So looking to the side, four trap doors, flick them all up. Now there's three spots on the side walls here. These are pretty easy. We're going to place one in each direction like that and flick them up and just keep doing that for all of these ones. And once you've done this side, this wall over here is exactly the same, so just repeat this. So that's how you should look when you're done. So now I want you to grab some stripped spruce and at the front door here, we're going to run a line of them across like that. And then we're going to keep doing this above everywhere where we've got trapdoors. So just run these around in a great big rectangle. And that's how it should look when you're done. So now I want you to come around to these sea lanterns and on the outside of our building here, we're just going to run around with spruce trapdoors covering up the sides of these sea lanterns. But in the center here, we're not going to cover them up. So what I want you to do is look at the shorter walls, grab some spruce slabs. We're going to place one there and another right there. And then against the sea lantern, we'll put a spruce trapdoor, but leave it flicked up like that. We're not going to flick it down. And we'll do the exact same thing up this side. So two spruce slabs and then a trapdoor against the sea lantern. Now these four pillars in the middle here, we're going to add an extra stripped spruce and then a sea lantern on top. And just underneath our sea lanterns, we are going to run four spruce slabs and we'll do that for each of these. And once you've finished that, come to the center of your pillars here and I want you to put two spruce trap doors on each side so you're looking like that. So if you're looking from the front door, that's where your trap doors go. And speaking of the front door, let's finish our staircase. So we're going to put five spruce planks there and then two lines of five spruce stairs. Now grab your planks again and at this height here, we are just going to fill in the entire floor. Okay, come along to these logs at the bottom of our stairs and we're going to add six more. One, two, three, four, five, six. Same here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now the two logs behind those, we're going to add four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then the two sea lanterns, we're going to put five. One, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four, five. And then we'll add a cross beam connecting those. Now on top of these logs in the middle, we're going to place stone and then sea lanterns on the ones at the front. And then we're going to do some more cross beams with stripped spruce. So you can run them over and connect them there and bring these to the front and connect them there. Now where the sea lanterns are, we're going to add an extra log just poking out on each side, then grab spruce trap doors and cover up the front of our sea lanterns. Okay, come along to one of our side walls where our staircase is. This will be exactly the same on the other side, so I'll show you this one and copy it over there. This log's going to have four more logs on it. Same with this one. The sea lantern will have four logs and that sea lantern will have four. And they will all have sea lanterns on top. So do the same over here. Then looking from the back, these sea lanterns in the middle, we're just going to add four logs to these. No sea lantern on top of those. 
But these ones here, we'll add our four logs and we'll put a sea lantern on top. And now what we're going to do is, ignoring those two shorter pillars in the middle, we are going to start at this stone and we're just going to run a big rectangle of our stripped spruce all the way around, just connecting these sea lanterns. And I want you to finish up back at that bit of stone, just like so. And then we will also add a little crossbeam here, so one on that side and one on that side. So now what you can do is grab some spruce trapdoors and just run around covering up the sides of every single sea lantern and also do it on the insides. Okay, so you should be looking like this with all your sea lanterns covered up on the sides. So now I want you to come right in to where our short pillars are. Then turn around and face the front of your building. And just up here we're going to put five spruce trapdoors. And then either side of that we're going to place some barrels. So I'll place four there and four there. So I'll fly up above. You can see exactly where I've placed them. And then on this side of the barrels, we're just going to cover those up with spruce trapdoors. So just on this side, not on the other side. Then grab some spruce fences and above our barrels, we are going to put in some windows. So just completely fill that up with spruce fences. Same over here. Okay, so that's how you should look when you're done. So now I want you to come along to where the edge of this window is that we just put in. Right here, we're going to put in three upside down spruce stairs and another three, turn the corner and just keep running these around until we finish over near that window there. Okay, so these upside down stairs should start next to that staircase, run all the way around and finish next to this staircase. So now above all these upside down stairs we just placed, go ahead and fill these areas up with spruce fences. And this is how you should be looking when you're done. You'll have a main room here with windows all the way around. So now I want you to come around to the front of the build. Right here we're going to place four spruce fences. And we'll do another in the same spot on the other side. Now next to these stairs, just place a spruce fence against the side of each of those stairs. Then we'll go one on top there and another. And we'll do the same here. So... Fences against the stairs, then one on top, and another one there. Okay, come up above, and just on top of that log end there, we're going to place a strip spruce, and another one. We'll place two on top of the stone, and then we're also going to place one on top of every single sea lantern all the way around. Just like so. And now we're going to connect them all with some spruce slabs. So basically we're going to run them all the way around here. I don't have them crossing that main room. Maybe I'll just uh, put them all in and then I'll give you an overhead view of where they all go. So here's the aerial view and you can see everywhere where I put those slabs. So you might want to pause the video here and copy that in. So now I want you to come around to the front and right here we're going to put an upside down spruce stair with a slab in front and same on this side. Now on top of the stair and the log behind we're going to place stone blocks and then running in between these stone blocks we're going to place stripped spruce all the way along. Now grab your spruce stairs, we'll go one, two, three with spruce slabs in the middle. Then back to your strip spruce, we're going to go one, two, three, and one, two, three. Now down in front here, back to spruce stairs, we'll put one right way up, and then two upside down ones looking from the side, and then we'll put a slab right there. Then grab spruce fences, we'll go one, two, three, four, five across the front, and then two spruce trapdoors. Okay, come over to this corner here, and above the trapdoor, we're going to place an upside down spruce stair. Turn the corner, place another one, and we're just doing this above every single trapdoor. So come around the back of the building and the other side here, and then finish when you get back to the front. Now, in the four corners here, I want you to place a temporary block, then a spruce plank, 
just in the middle above our stairs. And we'll do that in these corners too. So one there, another one right here, and finally back at this corner, another one there. And grab strip spruce logs, and we're just going to connect all four of these. So this one's going to run into that bit of stone, but otherwise just run these around the building in a great big rectangle. So when you're done, you should finish up back at the front, and that's how you should be looking. So now I want you to grab some smooth quartz stairs, and at the front of the building, right here, we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, with a dark oak slab on the end, and we'll do the exact same thing on this side, two, three, four, five, six, and a dark oak slab. Now we're going to do pretty much exactly what we did with the quartz stairs on the other building. So find the exact center of a side wall, put your slab in, and then just run your upside down stairs till we get to the end. And same thing here, and then right in the corner you put your dark oak slab. So just continue to do that on each wall. Slab in the middle, stairs all the way along, and then a dark oak slab in the corner. And once you've done that all the way around, this bit is the same as what we did before as well. We're going to run dark oak slabs until we get to the end here. In the corner we'll put a dark oak trapdoor. And then we'll just continue around with our dark oak slabs. So do that all the way around the building. And that's how you should be looking when you're done. So now I want you to come up above and look from the side here. On top of the end of that log, we're going to place a stone block, and then we're going to run strip spruce along there, and then up the end here on top of the log, another stone, and run our spruce down. Now, looking along this line here on top of the logs, we are going to place stone. We will grab our stripped spruce again, connect all of these, and then we're also going to turn this direction and connect these stone blocks as well. So do all four of those. Okay, come along to the back wall and on top of the ends of these logs we are going to place a stone block. For that end of the log there we're going to place another log and the same thing up this end. Now these logs in the middle, I actually should have made them seven blocks tall before, so go ahead and add one, two, three to the tops of those. And then with spruce slabs we're going to put three there and three right there, same here, one, two, three, and another three. So you'll be looking like that. Then grab your stripped spruce logs and we're going to run them across the tops of these slabs on this side as well. And then we're just going to run a ring of the spruce all the way around the outside. So just connecting our stone blocks here. So run that all the way around and when you're done, you'll be looking like that. Okay, come back around to the front and just behind these fences we're going to add three spruce planks right in the middle of the build. And then behind those spruce planks we're going to add a line of stone just finishing on that spruce plank. And same on this side, finishing on the spruce plank. Then we'll turn the corner and we're going to run that all the way over to the next spruce plank. Turn again and you can see what we're doing, finishing on the spruce planks and just making a great big rectangle, but we're also going to place an extra stone block just in each corner like so. Okay, so now I want you to come up above and look at one of the shorter walls. We're going to place a spruce plank on each end there, then a strip spruce log on the stone and another one on top of that log, and then just fill up the rest with sea lanterns, and we'll do the exact same thing over here, so planks, logs, and sea lanterns. Now the front and the back walls are much easier, so we're just going to put logs on top of the stone, and then fill up the rest with sea lanterns. So same thing here, just two logs on our stone, and sea lanterns. And once you've done that, grab your spruce trapdoors, and we're just going to cover up the side of every single sea lantern. And of course, if you wanted to save materials, you don't need to use as many light blocks as I have, but I like my buildings nice and bright. So now I want you to grab stripped spruce logs. We're going to place four on top of these stone blocks. And on top of these pillar ends, we are also going to add 
one, two, three, and four. Now you can see all these crisscross of logs here. On all of those, we are going to place spruce fences. So everywhere where you can place a fence, go ahead and place one. Okay, so now I want you to come along to the corners. On top of each of these spruce planks, we are going to place an extra spruce plank. So one there and one there. And now I'll grab stripped dark oak. And we're going to just connect all of these spruce planks we just placed in a great big rectangle. And once you've done that, we are going to build this thing here. And we're going to build this on both of our shorter walls. They are the same, so I've built that one. We will build the other one together. So come along to the dark oak here and place one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine upside down spruce stairs. Then right in the middle, spruce planks with four stripped spruce on each side. And then down the bottom, three stripped spruce there. And one, two, three right there. Now up the top here, we'll put spruce planks and we'll cover that with a trapdoor. Another trapdoor there, then come to the outside. And here we're just going to put a trapdoor against the top spruce plank. Two spruce fences there, then with spruce planks we'll go one, two, three, and three, and then we'll place one on the last dark oak on each side, then dark oak trapdoors along the bottom. Now grab spruce stairs and upside down we're going to go one, two, three, and same here, one, two, three, then come up above, hold shift, and place a spruce plank on top of that trapdoor. And once you've built both of those, come around to the front and right in the middle here, we're going to place a dark oak plank with three more on each side. So you've got seven in total. Behind those, right in the middle, we're going to place four cobbled deep slate with two stone there and another two. Now grab your dark oak planks again. We'll place two against the stone on each side, then temporary one, one in the middle and break that. Now, come along to these pillars we've got here. Just above them, we are going to run a long stripped spruce all the way along. And we'll do the same on this side. So stripped spruce all the way along there. Then just at the front here on this longer wall. So we're going to place upside down spruce stairs, but not against the dark oak, but just above the dark oak. So just at this height here. So just run these all the way along. And once you've done that, we are going to do the exact same thing on the other side. So starting right here, just run these along. Okay, now we're going to start building our roof. So grab all of your cut copper blocks again. And looking at the front, against that spruce plank there, we're going to place a block. Then another one on the diagonal. Another one there. And then holding shift, we'll place one on the trap door. Now this one's going to have a slab on top of it. And then we'll also have a slab coming out on the diagonal. And we'll do the same over here. So against the plank, we'll go block, then a block, and another. Hold shift, place one there. This one has a slab, and then a slab on the diagonal. Now grab your blocks again. We'll place them across the sea lanterns with an extra one there. Same thing here, across the sea lanterns, and an extra one. Now right in the middle, we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. Grab your slabs, we'll place one there, and another there, and then five slabs across the top. Two, three, four, five, and five right here. Now we'll grab a block, place it against the stone, upside down stair, then one, two slabs. Same here, block, upside down stair, two slabs. Okay, now I want you to grab some slabs. And all this stone you can see at the front, we're just going to cover that up with our copper slabs. So run them all the way across the stone. Then on top of the quartz here, we're going to switch to blocks. And I want you to run that all the way along. And come around to this side, keep going, and finish right there. Now come down to these logs poking out. I want you to place a temporary slab against the bottom half of that. An extra one to the side, and a third, then break the first two. So we'll do that again here. One, two, three, and break the first two. Now on top of those same logs, we're going to place three stairs. So three there, 
And on this side, one, two, three. Then on top of the dark oak, we're going to run slabs. When you get to the end, we're going to do an extra two at the front. Same here on top of the dark oak, slabs all the way along, then two out toward the front. And then what we're going to do is come down to this dark oak, we'll put two slabs there, and then one, two, three, four, five. And same on this side, one, two, and then one, two, three, four, and five. And that's how you should be looking. Okay, so now we've got the most complicated part of the roof out of the way, we can start doing the rest. And we'll begin with the corners. So come around to the back wall. Against that spruce block, we'll place a copper block. Another one, and two more. We'll put a slab on that, and then a slab poking out to the side. It's just like we did at the front. So we'll do the same here. One next to the spruce, and then three more. A slab on that one, and one of them out on the diagonal. Now this will be the same on all three of these sides. So we're going to run a line of slabs across the top of the dark oak with an extra two there. So we'll do that all the way along here. There we go, with an extra two. And it'll be the same on this side. So slabs on the dark oak with an extra two in the corner. I think you get the idea, just run around until we've done this all the way around. So once you've done that on all sides, what we're going to do is just starting against the dark oak right there, we're just going to run a line of slabs. This will be the same on all three walls, and we finish right there. So go ahead, do that on each side. Okay, once you've done that all the way around, the next step's pretty simple. On top of the quartz, we are going to do a line of copper blocks. So just run these all the way around. And after you've done that, on the next line up, on top of the stone, we are using slabs this time. So just do a full loop of these. And then just on top of these sea lanterns on the back wall, we're going to put a line of blocks. Okay, come around to the front of the building where you've got your dark oak triangle. And looking from the side, we're going to put three stairs there with another three stairs just above it. Now looking from the front, on top of the dark oak, we're going to go one, two, three, four, five stairs. And same over here, turn the corner with your stairs. Run these along, but this one's going to poke out one block extra. Now looking from the side here, on top of that block, we'll place a temporary slab, one beside it break that, and then we'll place another slab there. So they're coming up on the diagonal. And I'll do that one more time on this side. So one, two, three stairs, and another three. Then we'll place five there. Up here, we'll turn the corner. That'll poke out one extra. Then we'll do a temporary slab, one beside it, break that, and an extra slab right there. And the back of the building is going to look similar, but it is a whole lot easier. So we can just start with stairs all the way along here and finishing on top of that spruce. The next one, that extra stair is going to be poking out, but we can just run these all the way along. And same here, that one's poking out. Then we'll do the same thing with the slabs. So temporary one, one beside it, break that. Then an extra one. And same up this end, slab and slab. And just over here behind the cobbled deep slate and stone, I want you to place three copper blocks. So come back around to the front and just behind this top dark oak plank, we're going to place three copper blocks with an extra one on top of the spruce and one on top of those dark oak. Now up the top here, next to that block, we're going to place stairs all the way along with an extra one poking out, and the same on this side. Run these all the way along, and we'll do a matching line of stairs just below it. Turn the corner here, and then we'll finish with an extra stair in front of that block. Same thing here, extra one in front of the block, and then our line of stairs all the way along to here. Now grab some copper slabs, we'll place one right there, then grab this copper block, so it's not the cut one, it's the smooth one. Place it on top of the dark oak, upside down prismarine stair with another one of those copper blocks on top of that. Then we'll place a prismarine wall each side there, and another three. 
And then you can come around to the back wall and this is a lot easier. We're just going to do two lines of stairs. Just making sure you poke them out to the same distance as the stairs on the other side. So we'll do another line right here. And once you've done that, I want you to grab some spruce stairs. And we're going to place them upside down all the way along here. Once you've done that side, turn around and we'll place another line of upside down spruce stairs. Okay, come along to this very top spruce plank and we're going to place a cut copper slab against that. Then grab the copper block that is smooth all the way around. We'll place one on top and one either side. Then an upside down prismarine stair. Another smooth copper block on top and a prismarine wall either side. And we'll do the exact same thing up here. So slab three of the smooth copper. Upside down prismarine stair. Copper again and our prismarine walls. Then we'll grab the cut copper blocks and we're just going to run these all the way along. So starting at the spruce plank and finishing at the spruce plank. Then we'll grab cut copper stairs. We'll start with one there and we'll run these all the way along. And then to finish our roof, we're just going to run a line of prismarine walls across the top. Then grab a warped stair. We'll place it there. Another one up the other end and we're just going to connect them with warped wood slabs and we'll do the same thing just down here at this little outcropping of roof we'll do one warped stair and then one two three four warped slabs and that's it that is the exterior of your shrine all done but we've got an interior to do and the first thing we're going to need to do is make some banners so we're going to want to make this banner right here and we're going to want to make that banner there. So what I've done is you'll be able to pause the video and copy these instructions to make this banner. You start with a white banner. You add a black border around it. And then I've got the steps up the top. You add a white border and you get that banner. Then you add a black flower charge. And then you add a white circle in the middle. And that's how you get that one. For this one, you start with a white banner. You add a black flower charge and then the steps up above you just add a white cross and that's how you get that one. What you can do is pause the video here and copy that. So the banner on the left, that sun banner, you're going to want to make 28 of those. And the one on the right, you only need 8. Okay, so we'll start with the interior for the two side rooms. These are the same and it's super easy. So look up at these cross beams above. Put a fence right in the middle there with a chain. Same thing right here in the middle fence chain. Hang some shroom lights from those. They'll have oak trapdoors on the bottom. And then just surround them with this banner here. And go ahead and do the same thing in the other side room. And now for the centre building. So come up your stairs here. And we're looking at these windows. We're going to begin with four white banners right there. And just above those, we're going to place four of these banners. And we'll do the same thing here. So four white ones. And then four of those. Now you can look in through your doorway against these two pillars. We're going to place cauldrons. They will have anvils and then lanterns on top. And underneath that window straight ahead, we're going to place five dark oak planks with upside down dark oak stairs in front. Then looking from the side, three upside down stairs and the same from this side. Now we're going to place three more upside down stairs. One is right in the middle against that fence and the other two we want to look from the side. Place it like that and the other one looking from this side. Just like that, and then we'll put a dark oak slab either side. Now grab some flower pots, we'll put them up the top. I'll do a blue orchid and a birch sapling. We'll put a large amethyst bud in the middle, then looking from the side, a bell. Then on the left next to that slab, we're going to place an end rod. Now if you have it in survival, if you're building this in survival, we're going to place a skeleton skull just on top of that end rod so it makes a nice little lamp. 
If you don't have a Skeleton Skull, just leave it as an end rod. It's fine the way it is. On this side, we are going to put a Wither Skeleton Skull. Then grab an item frame. We'll place it right here with some raw gold. And then a Horn Coral Fan around it. And now we're going to make a little table just in front. So put your back to the Amethyst. Look down, holding shift, we'll place two trapdoors. And then two more acacia trapdoors from the sides. Then looking from above, holding shift, we'll place one right there. And another one right there. Now just beside that, we're going to place a lightning rod on each side. Red candles on those. And then you can go ahead and light your candles. Then in this room on the side, up the back here, two flower pots with dead bushes and flowering azalea leaves. And up here we will do the exact same thing, two more little azalea trees. And staying in this room, just diagonally from that trapdoor, we're going to place a temporary block with an acacia trapdoor against that and break it. And then we'll put a trapdoor on each side. You'll have to hold shift to place it right there. Then we'll put a flower pot on top with an orange tulip. Now we'll go to the opposite room and grabbing your temporary block again, we'll place it right there with a barrel lying on its side and break that and put a lectern underneath. Then holding shift, we'll put a birch trapdoor on each end and that is a little drum. And to finish, we're going to do some lanterns hanging from the beams above. So just in front of our altar here, right up the top, I want you to place a spruce fence and then spruce stairs looking from the sides, just like that. Then we're going to hang four chains from the fence. We'll put a shroom light, an oak trap door, and then we're just going to run these banners all the way around. Now we're going to do that exact same lantern in each of these side rooms. And I've already shown you how to build that one, so you can do these really easy. So this one's going to go here with our stairs. Same thing, four chains. And the other one is going to be in the exact same spot. So just go ahead and put these in. So when you're done, you'll be looking like this. And that is it. That is your Shinto Shrine 100% complete. So that's it guys. Thanks for bearing with me through such a long, long tutorial. I know it's going to be long because it's taken me the entire day to record it. So that means it's going to be a long video. So make sure guys you leave a big thumbs up. Leave that like for my hard work. And I will be very grateful. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.